President Biden and former President Donald Trump cruised to victory last night in the primary elections in the battleground state of Arizona. But in tonight's Listening to America, CBS's Weijia Jiang hears from voters who aren't happy with their options in the general election. Republican business owner Steve Macias voted for Donald Trump in 2020, but he's not sure if he will do so again. I really still have trouble trying to figure out who I'm going to vote for. The same goes for Democrat Paulina Flores. And in 2020, I voted for Biden. And independent Raquel Glodin. I voted for Donald Trump. What happened in the past three years or didn't happen that you're still so undecided about who to vote for? It's almost like there's too many chefs in the kitchen or there isn't a main chef in the kitchen. On the Biden side, you know, I've, uh, I was thinking, well, okay, good. He's the adult in the room, at least. You know, he's been through this. This will be calm. And it hasn't. Since winning Arizona in 2020, support for President Biden, who spoke outside Phoenix today, has softened among Latino voters. The Latino vote helped Biden clinch wins here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's done enough to maintain that lead here? I think his Latino numbers will go down. In part because they say Biden has not done enough to deal with issues at the southern border. He put his vice president in charge of, as a border czar, and then what happened? She just disappeared. So does he really care about it? But they can't get behind Trump's divisive rhetoric, recently calling migrants animals. I mean, every time I think, well, maybe there's a chance I'll vote for him, stuff like that comes yeah. out. I was like, <laughs> yeah, and he says yeah. something, you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. you shouldn't have said that, dude. Makes you cringe. <laughs> The economy is also a factor in how they'll vote. It used to be that we could go out and do things, you know, go out to dinner, you know, once, twice a week. Now, n no, that's not happening. You, we have to budget everything down, down to the finest thing. Do you think the economy was better under Trump? I do. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I would say so. President Biden has called Trump a threat to democracy and made it a central part of his campaign. Is democracy on the ballot in 2024? I don't buy that argument. I don't either. I mean, it's, I mean to me, now it's just another talking point. Every time I hear yeah. it, I just kind of tune it out. I know. Um, it's something that, you know, some focus group came up with, and yeah. now they're just using it to death. I really don't think they understand what democracy is when they say that. You know, the fact that there is a ballot is democracy. In our conversation, age also came up as a major issue, and that's why the voters said they are paying close attention to Vice President Kamala Harris and to whoever Trump chooses as his running mate. They said it could be a deciding factor. Nora. Weijia Jang in Arizona for us. Thank you so much.